Welcome to Stitch and Pattern Tuesday. Today I will be showing you how to make this easy summer bandana. Here you can see I made this bandana, this pink one, and I made it using Hobby Lobby Crafter Secret Yarn. Here you have a I think this one is a pink but more like a blush pink and I made it with just cotton from Premier Yarn. At the end of this one I add two, let me remove this so you can see, I add two flowers so when you tied the bandana you will have the flower hanging at the back of your bandana. For your bandana, you can knit it in any number four weight yarn if you like knitting your bandana in cotton or in acrylic yarn, whatever yarn you would like to use. So I use cotton for my yarn to make my bandana. So today I will be showing you how to make the one with the flower at the back. So get your yarn that you will be using. For my yarn, I will be using the Just Cotton from Premier, a number four weight yarn. And you can see this color here is amber, amber, and it's 85% cotton and 15% polyester. You'll need a stitch marker. It's not necessary. But if you want to mark your first stitch or your last stitch, a pair of scissors, your hook, I will be using a five millimeter hook, a H hook. And so get your supply and let's get started. And you will also need a darning needle or a yarn needle to sew in your ends. Let's get started. Grab your yarn and your hook. Make your slip knot, put the slip knot onto the hook, chain four, one, two, three, four. In the third chain from the hook, you're going to put two double crochet. Sorry. One, two. So the stitches for today are double crochet and chain stitches. So we have four, three double crochet. Basically, we're going to count the three chain as a double crochet. So that's two double crochet and chain three. So throughout the pattern, the chain three, any chain three will be counted as your first stitch. Okay, so we're going to chain one, two. Into the same space that we just did the chain three, we're going to put a double crochet. And that's the beginning of our bandana. So we have three stitches, chain two, one stitch. So we have a set of stitches in the, the one space. Okay, we're going to turn chain one. The chain one is not counted as a stitch. In the first double crochet, let me zoom in a bit so you can see. In the first double crochet right here, you're going to put three double crochet. One, two, Three. chain two one two one double crochet all in that one first chain sorry guys first double crochet stitch okay into the next chain two space you're going to put three double crochet chain two one double crochet into that same chain two space 
one, two, double crochet. We're going to skip the next two double crochet, one, two, and into the last double crochet, we're going to put one double crochet. Chain one and turn. Into our first double crochet, we're going to put three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Into the first chain one, sorry guys, into the first double crochet. This is where we're going to put chain two, one, two. Keep making mystic same chain, sorry about that. So that's what we're going to have. So into the first double crochet is three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Into one stitch. So into the next chain two space, you're going to put three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Chain two, one, two, one double crochet. Okay. Skip the next three double crochet, one, two, three, and you're going to put one, three double crochet. So into the next chain, two space so is right here. So we are skipping four double crochet, one, two, three, four. And we're going to put three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet into the chain two space. One, two, one double crochet. Skip the next two double crochet and into the last double crochet, you're going to put a double crochet. So we have one, two, three rows. Okay. So for row four, so we are on row four. We're going to chain one and turn. So for row four, you're going to repeat row three. And the same as row two is the same thing too. So we're going to put three double crochet in the first double crochet, chain two, one, two, one double crochet. And you're going to repeat this until you get to the last two, until you get to the last three double crochet, putting three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet into each chain two spaces until you get to the last three double crochet and I'll reach you back at the end of round four. So we're coming to the end of round four. We're going to skip two double crochet and double crochet into the last double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat what we just did, row four, for row five, six, and seven. At the end of row seven, I'll reach you back and we'll continue to work on our bandana. So go ahead and repeat row four and I'll meet you back at the end of row seven. So you should be finishing row seven. So for row eight, you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to skip your first double crochet, then you're going to skip the second, and then into the chain two space, you're going to put three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And you're going to repeat that by putting that into each chain two space until you get to your last three double crochet. So three double crochet, chain two, 
into each chain two space until you get to your last three double crochet and I'm going to meet you back right in the last chain two space so I'm coming to the end of round eight and at my last chain two space I'm going to put my three double crochet chain two one double crochet into the chain two space I'm going to skip two double crochet one two and into the last double crochet I'm going to put a double crochet so sometime it could get very fidgety to find that last double crochet so what I normally do sometimes I just get a tapestry needle and open that stitch a bit that so my needle could go in there Oop, see it's much easier I'm going to do a double crochet so for row nine you're going to chain one and turn into the first double crochet you're going to put three double crochet chain two one double crochet chain two one two one double crochet so you're going to repeat this by putting three double crochet one ch two chain one double crochet into each chain two space until you get to the last three double crochet and then you're going to skip two and put one double crochet in the last stitch and you're going to repeat this for row nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and 12 so you're going to repeat it after three more times so this is row 9 for 10 11 and 12 you're going to repeat row 9 by putting three double crochet chain two one double crochet into each chain two space and I'll meet you back at the end of round 12 so I'm at the end of round 12 and you can see our bandana started to widen like in a triangle so you can see some if you notice one end is getting longer than the other don't worry about that it will all straighten out so this is a two row repeat basically so from row you repeat row is row one row two is the repeat and row eight so row nine we did row two repeat row two for four rounds so from row nine to twelve is repeat row two so for row 13 to 16 we are going to repeat row eight and row eight let me do row 13 and from row 13 you can continue until you get to row 16 so for that row 13 you're going to chain one and this is repeating row eight and you're going to skip two double crochet you're going to skip the first and the second and into the chain two space you're going to put three double crochet chain two one double crochet all in that chain two space so you're going to repeat this pattern three double crochet chain two one double crochet into each of the chain two space until you get to the last chain two space and i'll reach you back at the end of the last chain two space of row 13. So I'm at the end, I'm coming to the end of my last chain two space on row 13 and I'm going to put my three double crochet chain two 
one double crochet into the space I'm going to skip I'm going to skip going to skip two double crochet and I'm going to double crochet into the last chain last double crochet okay and that's how we're going to end row 13 so you're going to repeat row 13 until you get to row 16 and I'll meet you back at the end of row 16 so you are at the end of row 16 on your bandana so you'll continue you'll finish off until you get to the other side of your bandana let me finish this stitch and you're going to chain 35 chains so this is still row 16 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so go ahead and chain your 35 chain and i'll meet you back at the end of my 35 chain so you should be finish your 35 chain so you're going to turn and in the second chain from hook and in each chain you're going to put one single crochet for a total of 35 single crochet so one single crochet into each of the 35 stitches Sorry, one single crochet into the remaining of the 34 chain because you start in the second chain from the hook. So you will have 34 single crochet. So I finished the tie. So the 35 chain that you did and then you single crochet 34. To make the tie for the bandana so this is the third of four single crochet so this is the top of your bandana so we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch at the top of your bandana so one when you get to the chain two space you're going to put two single crochet into each space one two then three single crochet one single crochet into each of these three double crochet and you're going to repeat this until you get all the way across this is row 17 when you get to the end of the bandana you're going to chain 35 and I'll meet you back when you finish chaining your 35 so go ahead and put one single crochet into each stitch all the way across to the end and then chain 35 row 18 in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into each chain for a total of 34 single crochet so you're going to do your 34 single crochet on the tie of the bandana and when you get to the body of the bandana the main part of the bandana itself you're going to put one single crochet into each stitch until you get to the last stitch here and I'll meet you back when you get to the last stitch before the tie of the bandana so 
go ahead and put one single crochet all the way across until you get the one stitch to the other tie of the end bandana and I'll meet you back there to show you how to fasten it off so I'm at the end of round 18 and I'm one stitch away from the tie and I'm going to slip stitch into that last stitch and fasten off cut your yarn grab your tapestry needle and weave in your ends so I'm going to weave in my end taking it back words into my stitches until the entire thing disappear or you could cut off the excess that is remaining so that's it and I'm just going to cut that off and I'm going to weave in the beginning end So here we have our finished bandana. Here. This is how wide it is. So I'm going to show you how to make the flower. It doesn't take a lot of yarn. I'm going to show you in a different color. I have some so for the flower of the you're going to chain three four one two three four into the first chain you're going to slip stitch to make a ring to form a ring sorry two three four lose one of my stitches going to slip stitch okay so you're from you're going to chain two one two into the circle let me zoom in a bit into the circle you're going to put three double crochet one, two three chain two one two and slip stitch into the circle chain two one two three double crochet one two three chain two one two slip stitch into the circle chain two one two three double crochet one two three chain two one two slip stitch into the circle and you could move your stitches down so you can have more space to work chain two one two three double crochet chain two one two slip stitch into the circle We're going to repeat that one more time. Chain two, one, two, three, double crochet, one, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the circle. 
and here you're going to fasten off okay so you make five petals for your flower so we're going to fasten off weaving our end so you should you need to make two of these so go ahead and repeat this flower to make the other one so weaving it ends so I'm weaving my ends backward through the stitches okay you want this flower to have a hole in the middle Okay, so don't pull it too tight okay, so you can have enough okay, hole in the middle so that's how it looks you're going to take go ahead and make the other one and I'll meet you back when I finish so I finished making my two flowers I'm going to take the end of my bandana and put it through the hole of the flower like that at the end of your tie, you'll make a knot. So and then you pull it, and then pull the flower down to the end, and you do that for both sides. bandana with a flower at the end for the tie so I hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand please like share and subscribe and thank you for joining me on stitch and pattern Tuesday until next time bye bye